So, a quick update. I removed uh, the newly installed CPUs and I've installed back the uh, original one. And I'm actually, I created a RAID 5 out of this. I will be creating this thing uh, again if this thing works. Uh, here it is the idea. HP is a piece of shit. And uh, you cannot uh, download the BIOS bootable image for free. So I kind of googled and I found one on the internet which is from 2015. So let's hope that that will help help me with my well situation. So let's hope to God this thing works. I've started the uh, installation of the uh, BIOS. If this thing actually works, I'll be leaving the update in the uh, description down below. Well, I'll link to the update anyway. So this is the slowest update ever. I believe this is due to this chip because uh, the uh, well, this white one. Those chips are slow as fuck. Okay, a reboot is required. I like that. Let's reboot. And let's hope that this has, well, updated the uh, CPU microcodes that are supported. Otherwise I have two CPUs for nothing, so... Mm, that's unacceptable. So this thing just rebooted, and let's see whether it will turn on. Yeah, I think it will. There were no problems regarding the... Uh, yeah, just as I thought. Although, to be fair, this thing was no, never blinking before, but... We'll see. So yeah, okay. So we are in 2015, so this is four years later. I can live with that. You know what, so... Uh, I'll try to install the new CPU and see whether it will boot or not. I'll install only one and then if it works I'll install another as well. Only one CPU installed. And let's see. I so hope that this thing actually works. Because finding BIOS from 2018 is... Well, I didn't find it. Hard drives are spinning up. Unsupported CPU type. Why? So, sorry for uh, low level lightning, but I'm kind of depressed. And why am I depressed? First of all, this is a 64 gigs of RAM I've ordered off of eBay. <laughs> this motherboard supports only 16 gigs of RAM. Even though uh, everywhere on eBay um, Sellers declare that it supports 64, so so yeah, it does not. And fun fact, there are actually three versions of this uh, motherboard, three revisions. And yeah, I have the first one, and obviously it does not work with quad-core CPUs. So what I've done, I've ordered uh, two of uh, uh, dual-core Xeons, the fastest for this motherboard. And I will be actually placing it inside and I will be selling this motherboard for the amount of the money I spend on RAM, these heatsinks and these CPUs and well, uh, the uh, uh, spare parts I've invested. So yeah, uh, this computer is good for file share but unfortunately for what I need virtualization is not. So I will be selling this thing and I will be uh, at work I have uh, two uh, 380 generation 6 which I can get uh, for rather like for um, 150 bucks each so that's, that is uh, the amount I am willing to pay and I have ordered already uh, two uh, 6 cores Xeons uh, for both so 4 CPUs for uh, around 70 bucks which is awesome price and I've checked already they should support it. Um, unfortunately this one does, by the way, does not. By the way, uh, if you ever need to update BIOS, uh, you know what, I'll leave uh, the link in the description down below because HP is, well, you know, HP is shit, just like every other major brand, has decided to uh, uh, have this uh, BIOS as an entitlement, so you need to pay for fucking support in order to uh, update BIOS, seriously. You know, uh, yeah. Well, anyway, that's pretty much for this video. Uh, 
Until the next time. Cheers. Bloody hell. And I've pressed the wrong button.